Hello from Silicon Valley. I'm going to tell you why I believe this is the most amazing period in human history when we can literally solve the grand challenges of humanity. The grand challenges are the problems that humanity has had since its beginning. To start with, let's look at the history of technology. It is exponential. It took hundreds of years to go from agriculture to pottery to the plow. Then over the last hundred years, we have had advance after advance after advance. We don't understand exponentials. Just like when the COVID coronavirus first came, we didn't expect it to grow exponentially. We didn't understand exponentials. But before we knew it, our cities were shutting down because of the virus. That is how exponential progress happens. Now, the good news is that technology is helping us if we use it rightly. It's making amazing things possible. Already, our smartphones have the processing capability of supercomputers. And they are allowing us to analyze information in ways we could never use them before. But it's not just computing. It is everything that computing touches that's advancing exponentially. Everything from artificial intelligence to robotics, digital medicine, sensors, synthetic biology, genomics, all of these fields are advancing exponentially. And when exponential technologies converge, they make what seems impossible to be possible. You know, the World Economic Forum calls this Industrial Revolution 4 IR4. Yes, industry is being impacted in a big way, but it's not only industry, it is everything about our lives. For example, medicine. Medicine is now becoming an information technology. And let's look at what's happening here. For example, those of you who have iPhones, you go to the Apple store and you begin to realize that something strange is happening there. Apple is selling medical devices. Huh? What do you mean? Well, go and look at uh, the devices they're selling. Take the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is one of the most advanced medical sensors in the world. It can diagnose your heartbeat. It can diagnose your movements. It can diagnose you know, your activity levels. Your watch can know if you're sick or if you're, if you're not sick. <laughs> this is how technology is advancing. And what it means is that we're gathering massive amounts of data. Our smartphones are a, spy, a spying device, believe it or not. They capture everything about us. They capture our habits, they capture our relationships. They capture our movements. They, cap they know where, they, our smartphones know where we've gone. They know how active we are. They capture our health. So we're capturing massive amounts of data. To the people who understand technology who are watching this, what do you do with data? You use artificial intelligence to analyze it. That's what AI is. AI is simply pattern recognition. Well, soon what's gonna become possible is for AI doctors to be able to diagnose human health. Within this decade, AI will exceed the capabilities of human doctors. Why do I say exceed? Because AI has information that our doctors possibly can't understand, like genomic information. It has all of this other information that our smartphones are capturing. AI will exceed the capabilities of doctors. It's gonna be amazing when, when your smartphone tells you you're about to be sick, and you need to take this medicine to stay healthy. This is what will happen in the 2020s. Medicine is becoming digital and information technology. And what happens when anything becomes information technology is that it starts advancing exponentially. I'm going to give some more examples of things that are becoming possible and why I'm so excited about the future. One of them is curing every disease. So it's not only our our health is also curing of disease. You know, diseases such as cancer, diseases, you know, like, like, like the influenza and all these other diseases we get. When you look at it, there are only a certain number of symptoms you can have. There are five or 600 symptoms. There are about five or 6,000 diseases. So understanding these is the job for artificial intelligence. And soon we will have cures for almost every disease because of the technology advances. 
And then we will begin to solve many other problems of humanity using technology. You know, for example, one of the biggest problems in the world is a lack of energy. In Korea, you're fortunate that Korea has become a developed country. But for your parents, it wasn't a developed country. When your parents grew up, Korea was a poor country. And like the developing world today, like a lot of Africa, a lot of Asia, people didn't have electricity. And when you don't have electricity, it's very hard for, for you to do anything because children can't read when they come home. You know, you don't have heat to keep you warm. The good news is that this is about to change. If you look at this chart that I just put up, that big ball over there is sunlight. And the small ball over there is petroleum. Our planet is bathed in energy. We have more energy than, we receive 1400 times more energy every day than the entire planet consumes within one year. We are bathed in energy. The problem is that so far we could not harness this energy. We could not use this energy. Well, this is changing because solar technologies are on an exponential curve. What's happening is that the, uh, the price keeps dropping about 10 to 20% every year. And when the price drops, the installations double. When the installations double, the price drops. So this is an amazing virtuous cycle we are on. I've also been a journalist. I've written several articles for the Korean press and I also write for the American press. I wrote this article about seven, eight years ago about how we're headed into an era of unlimited clean energy. This is exactly what uh, happening as I predicted. By the end of this decade, by 2030, energy will be almost free. Sunlight will can be converted into um, uh, so through solar panels into electricity for our houses and it will be almost free just like you know so uh, just like you're watching this um, on your internet the internet is almost free now cell phone rents are almost free that's how clean energy will be it will be amazing what becomes possible when energy is almost free and then storing energy well electric storage is not far behind this is why within this decade my prediction is that the uh, uh, you know uh, companies such as Hyundai, Toyota, General Motors, they will stop producing uh, vehicles that consume petroleum. It will be all electric because the cost of energy will be so cheap, batteries will be so cheap that it will be make more sense to have electric vehicles than regular vehicles. And then water. Again, in Korea, you're fortunate to have clean water. In many parts of the world, you don't have clean water. The majority of infectious diseases in the developing world is caused by waterborne viruses. I'm going to show you the story of an entrepreneur in Chile, in Santiago, Chile, who may help solve the world's problem. He developed this system called the Plasma Water Sanitation System. Watch this video. The Plasma Water Sanitation System takes in a continuous flow of contaminated water and injects it under high pressure into a plasma reaction chamber. As pressure drops inside due to acceleration, the liquid stream transforms into a biphasic gas-liquid flow. An electric field is applied to the biphasic flow, transforming it into non-thermal plasma, destroying all virus and bacteria in the water. As velocity decreases, pressure increases, turning the flow back into liquid, which is then released from the chamber, delivering clean, safe and reliable water in a continuous flow. A team of 12 people, 12 engineers in Chile built this world-changing invention because with it we can have 100% clean water. And then they discovered another thing during the pandemic, that they could also launch the next revolution in agriculture. How? Through something called plasma-activated water. Plasma-activated water is how Mother Nature fertilizes the planet through lightning, which is plasma. The force state of matter is lightning. Well, the same device I showed you converts water into plasma, back into water, it's lightning. And if you add water and air to it, you can generate plasma activated water, which is the greatest of all fertilizers because it's not only a fertilizer, it's also a pesticide. The H2O2, the hydrogen peroxide in the water, causes the plants to defend themselves. It's like taking a vaccine, like the vaccines you've taken for COVID. They teach your body how to defend themselves. That's what plasma activated water and hydrogen peroxide do. So a small team of people in Chile 
have developed a technology that could last, launch the next green revolution. These devices are now being manufactured by Siemens in Germany, and they should reach Korea and the rest of the world by the end of 2020, by the end of 2022. So it, it, within this year, it should be available uh, all over the world. This could be a world-changing invention because it'll help launch the next green revolution. Literally eliminating, or redu not eliminating, reducing the need for pesticides, reducing the need, need for fertilizers. This was done by a team of 12 people in Chile. Now, if those people in Chile can do it, imagine what you can do in Korea. You have access to the most advanced technologies in the world. You're very highly educated. You have lots of funding. There's lots of money available in Korea and the rest of the world to do world-changing inventions. And the best part is that the cost of starting a software company or even a hardware company like this uh, company I just talked about, Plasma Waters is a company in Chile, has dropped dramatically. Before it would cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Now it costs millions of dollars to build a big company or thousands of dollars to get to the stage that you can raise venture capital and build a world-changing company. This is what is possible right now to save the world because of these advances in technology. The message I want to leave you with is that everyone has a role to play in innovation. You can now build technologies that positively impact humanity and save the world. Thank you, everyone. It was good talking to you. Thank you.